Hi Aquarius, um, this is your May 2019 reading. Uh, do keep in mind it is a general reading, so the messages may or, uh, may, or may not resonate with you. Um, maybe some of the messages will, some will not, maybe all of them will. Um, just take what, what does. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started. Um, for the month of May, you guys got King of Cups, the Star, Page of Swords, and we have Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, so, the Star, that is you guys, that is Aquarius energy. Um, some of you out there could be dealing with a water sign, an air sign, um, or that's just the elements that are at play here. We have water and air. Um, a lot of mental energy here. I don't, not sure. This could be you. This could be somebody you're dealing with or somebody that you know. Um, like someone in your life, in your environment, maybe, um, is really caught up in their head. Um, maybe scatterbrained, maybe feeling mentally trapped, stuck, um... Someone here either you know somebody that might self harm or has those tendencies, or uh, maybe this is you. If so, definitely seek the professional help that you need. Um, that's not for everybody out there. Um, but I do see you guys getting some sort of relief in the month of May with the star card here. Um, I do see you guys healing from something, from a situation. Um, I do see you guys coming out of this mental entrapment um whatever this is that's been weighing heavy on your mind could have to do with a water sign for some um or you have water in your chart um, or some of you guys are just really um, intuitive, psychic. You might have some sort of gift. You could be really creative. The King of Cups, this is someone who's very sensitive to the needs of others. This is a person... I would say who's balanced, very well um, emotionally balanced, very um, stable, grounded in his emotions. He's um, very calm. This is a calm person, a very spiritual person. Could be a maybe a, a religious person as well. Um, yeah, I'm just getting, you know, this King of Cups, this is someone very in tune with their feelings and the people around them, their environment. I feel like they're very aware.
He's also um, a gentle king. He's not weak, but he is just... Out of all the kings, he's calm, gentle. Uh, romantic as well. Hmm. The star card, you know, is also about a wish, so the star card is about healing, can also be about um It's also about the the collective what is it the uh the collective human unconsciousness if anybody's interested you could look you know research further into that i'm trying to think of what deck to pull from Hmm. I feel like someone... If this was you guys trapped in this Eight of Swords energy that's at the bottom of the deck here, you guys are definitely, if this was you, I feel like maybe you were stuck in, in that for maybe quite some time, <clears throat> but you guys are finally ready to break through free to let go of this mental entrapment of whatever's keeping you stuck um you have stepping into stillness my power is born in the majesty of silence you guys are going to quiet your mind in the month of may you guys are really going to i feel be more meditative be more reflective Especially upon your emotional state here. Um, you guys could be, like I said, um, or I don't know if I mentioned that, but the King of Cups, I feel, is also creative. So you guys could be doing something creative to distract yourselves. Or you're going after a wish or a goal. Maybe someone was caught up in their mind about some sort of wish of, of theirs. You have emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just going to come into just really good energy in the month of May. I feel like you guys are leaving behind whatever is weighing heavy on your mind. Um, oh, the Page of Swords reverse just could also... I'm feeling like maybe somebody might come in and communicate harshly or maybe aggressively towards you or someone might come in with some sort of bad news about something or maybe someone's 
causing some sort of conflict or drama with the Page of Swords reversed. And that could also be putting you in this Eight of Swords energy. Uh, bottom of the deck. You have trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. Yeah, you guys are really leaning on your intuition in the month of May. Or you're just dealing with somebody, like I said, with the King of Cups. King of Cups is someone very intuitive. Um, you could be dealing with a very intuitive water sign or just someone, you know, who's... Just got a really strong intuition. Or this is you. Or you guys are, you know, trusting your intuition to lead you towards the star, your wish. Your healing. Um, yeah, you guys are supported. You have support. Your life purpose fully supports you. So, your guides, your angels, your ancestors are definitely supporting you. They always are. They're always around you. But you guys are definitely being given extra support from the universe this month with the star card here support card some of you guys could have an actual like person coming in and offering you some sort of help or support could be a water sign could be any sign um maybe this is emotional support um with the king of cups here Is what I'm feeling strongly. It could, you know, be financial or um, any other sort of help. But I'm feeling this is more of an emotional matter. This is more emotional support. Um, or this is someone coming in and giving you intuitive guidance. Or you're getting psychic guidance. Um... I don't know. Maybe someone's just like a little harsh in how they deliver a message to you. With the King of Cups and Page of Swords reversed. Or maybe you have like a lot of creative ideas, um, but you're just not sure how to express them. Oh, bottom of the deck, you have, oh, I just saw 333. Three, three. Um, you guys have, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Awesome. So that's confirmation for all of you guys watching that. You are on the right path. Keep, you know, following Working towards that star, working towards that goal, that wish. Whatever it is that you're aiming towards, that, you know, what whatever path you're on. It is confirmation you are on the right path. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Any messages when I come out from the stack? Ooh, another card of grace, number 14. Could be significant or the number five. So, another card of grace. Number 28 could be significant. The number 10, the number one. You have blessed sight.
Yeah, I feel like... Your intuition has been trying to tell you guys something, has been nagging, has been pulling at you for quite some time now, I'm feeling. You guys could just be stepping into a more graceful, more peaceful period, cycle in your life. Is there anything Aquarius has to work on surrendering in the month of May? You have surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. <clears throat> surrender worry make a commitment not to lead an anxiety driven life when worries arise breathe them out of your body focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always like i said you were supported you were being guided you were on the right path some of you guys might be receiving signs synchronicities that you are on the right path i feel like once you guys step into this stillness this calm this peace um whatever you've been holding off on you're just going to go for